New year, new studio, and there are so many exciting things to show you guys in today's video. Uh, the studio is about 90% done. There are a couple final touches that I'm going to add, uh, and you guys will just see them in future videos. But the main layout is going to stay the same. I've been in the studio for about a week now, so I'm fairly happy with the way things are. Uh, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what I've built. Now, I think it's only fair if we start off with where all the money is made, and that is at the computer setup because... Well, you can't sell items that aren't listed on eBay. And this is where I list all my items. Still relatively the same setup. We've got the computer, dual monitor setup. I'm running a 27-inch curve monitor, just a normal 24-inch normal monitor. 100% keyboard, mouse, speakers, uh, mic, whatever, uh, computer. I've got a 1660 Ti in it, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. We've got like an i7 processor. Obviously, we got the iPad, great for watching shows or podcasts or whatever when I'm listing. Uh, we've got the second phone that always comes in clutch. Always got to have a knife because you're always opening things up. Dymo label printer. This is uh, actually fairly new. We got this last year. So this has been a huge lifesaver, especially when packing orders. If we move up though, we got a brand new background. We got all three Lego cars here. We got some more collectibles. Uh, we've got kind of our, our sign, that banner thing that we had going on in the last studio. Here we have more of the newer Lego cars that... Uh, I've recently added to the collection uh, and this is basically the whole look of it. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and swap this shelf to the left with a black version of this white shelf because I have one. I just need to build it and I haven't had a chance, but we will get to that when we get to that. Either way, this is what I'm going with right now. I have also run Ethernet to the computer because I have uh, gigabit speeds because I'm running fiber optic now. So yeah, that definitely helps with listing things faster, I guess, but it mainly just helps with downloading games, let's be honest. But if we move on to the desk beside it, we have uh, basically the same thing I had going on at the last studio as well, except that now both desks are side by side instead of, uh, well, I guess one behind the other. I had a bit of a gap. It's a bit of a weird layout, to be honest. Uh, we have a four by six IDPRT label printer. This guy is brand new to the studio. Big, big lifesaver, especially when printing out international orders or just parcels. You just stick them on. Definitely recommend you guys get one if you deal with a lot of those. Uh, we've got just kind of a charger thing, which I still need to hook up. Uh, overall, just really a space for pictures. Uh, I also have installed a blue curtain as a background. I probably should have ironed it out. I do realize that now, but I really don't care. It seems to be working quite well for the photos I've been taking recently, especially with the consoles and whatnot. Uh, we've got, I guess, just pliers, scissors, tape, Lysol wipes to clean stuff. We got a scale here for scaling, or not scaling, but for weighing packages. I found some eBay tape. Um, so we're gonna be using a little bit of this for packing orders. Uh, I don't know why I found that, but I found it. Uh, we have just some microfiber cloths for cleaning off games, and that is about it for this part of the studio. But if we go ahead and transition over to this area, we have a brand new testing rack. Uh, we've got obviously our the same TV that we had before. Uh, we've got the Xbox 360, the PS2, the Wii, as well as the PS3. My camera is playing tricks on me, so I do apologize for the frame rate. Uh, the lighting situation here is pretty bad, to be honest, and it's just playing tricks with my phone. Uh, we do have these two lights over here, which definitely help. I've been using these for obviously recording videos as well as for taking eBay photos. But if we take a look at the ceiling, which isn't exactly finished, there are not a whole lot of lights. We have one there and then one at the back of the studio right over there, but that's about it. So we definitely need to install some lights as we go on. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and stick to this uh, because it seems to be working. All these consoles down here below will be listed in future videos, so don't worry about that. But I guess some kind of cool stuff about here is I've decided to run all the AV stuff down to this AV switch box so I can simply switch the inputs of everything. Uh, which seems to be working, to be honest, the only things I have hooked up to there right now is the PS2 and the Wii, because I'm running HDMI for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Uh, and then I also have a massive power bank bag here, which definitely helps when testing consoles. Obviously, we have the GFJ Easy Pro. I don't know why I skimmed over this. I now have two of these guys. Uh, second one isn't set up. Don't really need two, but I have a backup one just in case. Might sell it, might not. We'll see in the future. We also have the old chair from, well, uh, a couple months ago. Uh, this guy is here now, so I use it for the second desk, but it's kind of in the way, so I decided to put it off to the side. This is actually a cold room. Uh, it's just part of the house, really just store, uh, you know, just food in there, but 
not really part of the studio. However, if we go back to the main point, we now have a entertainment center here. Uh, we've got uh, both of the Lego cars here now. Uh, we have the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger, I believe, or Challenger. Uh, and then we have the Batmobile, which is uh, a newest, uh, I guess, addition to the Lego collection. We've got the Xbox One S, just kind of my OG console. And the last part of the studio, which is also my favorite part of the studio, is the red shelves that uh, we actually had in the storage unit before, but no more storage unit, and now they are in the studio. These are obviously all games that need to be listed because I decided to take down a whole bunch of games, uh, at least I believe about like half of the store's worth, so now I'm relisting them, uh, and I have decided to go ahead and store them on the shelf. There is still a lot more. There's like hundreds, not hundreds, there's about like 10 boxes still left of these guys. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of work to do, but as for right now, I've decided to go ahead and fill up these shelves just so they look great because I feel like full shelves always look a lot better than empty shelves. Uh, and hopefully these will be empty sooner than later because things will start to sell. But as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a pretty cool YouTube background or just for videos or whatnot. I think it looks pretty dope, especially if we kind of zoom out here with the cameras, you guys can see it all in one. I did have to go ahead and build a frame for it, which was um, pretty fun. I just had to go ahead, uh, put some two by fours down and then one lay one down and just kind of uh, screw it all together. So that seemed to work. And that is really it for the studio as of right now. Uh, there is another part of the studio, which is a little bit separate from this room. Uh, and we're going to go and take a look at it right now because it has all of the inventory. Now, I will apologize in advance for, well, the, uh, first of all, the camera quality as well as the lighting in here. It is pretty bad, to be honest. Uh, I mainly use this to store inventory. As you guys can see, we have all the boxes. Uh, we've got more stuff here. We've got a backup testing rack. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just mainly storing inventory. Not a whole lot going on here. This seems to work quite well right now. It's basically the exact same system I had at the storage unit. Just way less boxes right now because I still need to list the stuff. I have went ahead and took all of the shelves out for the uh, loose games. So these are all alphabetically sorted and they're sorted by console. Um, and it seems to work quite well, especially if you have a lot of loose games like we do here at the store. Uh, we've got more of them. Some of them have not been organized yet, such as this bin of PS3 games. This one of, uh, actually, no, that's not the one. This one of 360 games. And then this one with PS2 games. Uh, and then, yeah, basically we have the exact same row of shelves on the back, just with a different SKU number. So each game is listed to a specific SKU number, which I then go ahead and put into the eBay listing. And then when the game sells, I know where it is. Let's know which bin it is in. And otherwise here, I'm just simply storing a whole bunch of boxes, controllers, inventory, stuff like that. Not really anything too interesting. And that is the entire studio. I'm fairly happy with the way it turned out. It definitely took a lot of planning and a lot of work to get to the stage. If you are looking for a more conservative approach, uh, perhaps you don't have this much space, make sure you go ahead and check out my setup tour from last year. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description because it, I definitely didn't have this much space. I had way less space, uh, but I definitely made it work. So make sure you go check out that video. I probably will uh, give you uh, some more ideas on how to set up your office as well if this is what you were looking to get out of this video. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and stay tuned for some more awesome videos. Uh, if you guys don't mind hitting the subscribe button, liking this video, commenting down below. What do you guys think of the new studio? Is it better? Is it worse? I personally think it's a lot better, but maybe you guys really like the old studio. Let me know down below. Also, any suggestions are always welcome. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.